people hello and welcome back to my channel that was a bit of a loud one i do apologize if you have headphones in or if your volume's up um today we're doing a very very exciting video as you can probably tell by my intro i'm really pumped for it i'm really pumped to just be filming today we're going to be doing a review on the revolution and friends collaboration i've got a palette and a lipstick to try out i'm so excited but if you are new here i am lucy stevenson but you can call me loose because we're all friends here if you are new don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these features, more of these features, more of these videos in the future. Um, and don't forget to enter my huge giveaway linked down below which also has revolution goodies inside the giveaway as well. Let's just get straight into it. So I, I'm not going to lie, I was quite disappointed when I saw the collection. I'm just going to be completely honest. Um, I feel like they could have done so much more with it but I do know that they're doing another drop and they've also mentioned about a third drop as well. Um, and I've had a little sneaky preview of the second drop um, I, from Alex. Basically Alex's Patreon shared a picture with her and she shared it with me and the second drop looks unbelievable it looks a lot better and um, it looks more friends themed than this one but yeah let's just get straight into it so the two kind of products that stood out for me were the monica palette and the rachel lipstick if you are interested in picking any of these up because i know they've sold out um like certain ones but if you go on superdrug they were like kind of the last person like the last kind of company to get them on their website everything is basically in stock of Superdrug. The only thing that they don't do is I don't think they do the accessories, but if you want in the palette, like the Rachel lip gloss, that one's sold out, um, but it's online on Superdrug. And they also have a deal where if you spend £12, you get a free um, primer as well. So this is the Revolution Glow Dream, no, Beam Dream Face and Body Eliminating Primer. So you get this for free when you spend £12. So I ended up obviously getting the palette and the lipstick and that went over the £12. So the palette retails for £8. This is what it looks like. Um, I, I'm not like a hardcore lover of Friends, but I do love Friends. Me and Blake seem to be watching it loads since we moved into this new house. Um, we seem to watch it a lot more now because we've got our own like little mini kind of living room. This one retails for £8 and the Rachel lipstick retails for 6 but we'll get to that one in a minute. I want to get into the palette first. So I'm going to prime my eyes with some P. Louise base and I'll be back in a momento. So to begin with, I think what I'm gonna do is quite a brown smoky eye with some glitter on it. This palette attracted me the most because I felt like there was more that you could do with this one. The other one seemed quite light, to be honest with you, and the big one just didn't really interest me all that much, to be honest with you. Um, I've just said that like twice. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Frizzy, which is the darkest brown in the palette. Wow, that is a lot of kickback, but if I'm honest with you, you blow it away, it doesn't really interest me, like kickback just doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> and I'm just going to be taking a big fluffy brush for this really, um, just looks like this. And I'm going to begin by just kind of tapping this into the crease. I'm going to just blend out any creases first because I have the creasiest eyeballs ever. And I'm just going to tap this and kind of just wiggle it into the crease. Ooh, that is quite pigmented. I feel like you have to be a little bit careful of how much you pick up because it is so kickbacky. The little bit can go quite a long way if you do pack it on. Okay, that looks really messy, but we're going to make this work. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a smaller brush, just like this, just to blend out these edges. And then I think I might go in with a more peachier shade to kind of blend this out and put it into a bit more of a blend and transition. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Obsessive, which is a bit more of a peachy color. I feel like as well with this, you could do a very light eye. I feel like you could do a more kind of ruby toned eye, like a more, um, not ruby, but yeah, ruby is technically the right word to be fair. Um, I feel like there's quite a few different looks that you could do with this palette, considering it is such a small palette as well. And I absolutely love that it's purple. Like you all know anyway, I love anything purple. Um, it's like my whole YouTube branding, but I love that this one is purple. And I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this pixie one and go back in with the shade Frizzy. And I'm gonna pack that back into the crease, but now a bit more kind of where I want it to be, if that makes sense, before I just kind of slapped it on. 
Whereas now I want to be a bit more precise and to build that up a little bit as well. By doing that, it's just added that little bit more kind of intenseness to it and just brings that pop of brown back in. And I'm just going to go in with the little brush that has the more peachy shade on it with no extra product and just blend the edge of this just ever so slightly because we do want that pigmentation in but obviously we want it to be blended too. So I was thinking of actually doing a cut crease but I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to tap this brown all over the lid and I think I might do kind of a bit of a grungy spotlight eye that's what I'm feeling with this one which I didn't expect this palette to kind of take me that way I do feel like there's a lot that you can do with this palette like this is literally just a couple of the shit like we've used two shades so far and we've made like a grungy eye to begin with I just feel like there's so much that you can do with this palette I do feel like it's a different color on the lid than when I packed it onto the crease I don't know if you can see that I don't mind, it doesn't bother me, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with the Twins shade, which is the middle one. This middle shimmer. There's a shimmer in the Phoebe palette, which looks gorgeous. But the rest of the palette, just it just seems so light. It doesn't seem like there's all that much that you can do with it. So it just kind of puts me off. So I've just put the Twins one on my finger, and I'm just going to tap this into the middle of my eye. Ooh, that is pretty. I was expecting it to be chunky, but it's not. It's quite smooth, just because it looks quite chunky in the actual packaging. Okay, I am really impressed with that shimmer, like really, really impressed with it. I'm gonna go in with, let me have a little look, with the first brush that we used to put the brown on and just kind of lightly blend the sides of the shimmer, just so it blends in a little bit more with the brown. And then I'm just going to reapply just a little bit and just do that until I get the kind of the intensity that I want and the blend that I want. And yeah, I am actually really impressed. And I wasn't expecting the look to go this way. I was expecting me to do quite a cut crease, like with glitter. But I just don't think that brown would have been... I don't know, I don't think it was prominent enough for me to do a cut crease. So I think this grungy eye just looks so much better so much better so i'm gonna go in with a bit of a brow highlight let's see what brush i'm gonna go in with the morphe actually i don't want to go in with that one <laughs> change my mind i'm gonna go in with just this morphe b16 brush which is very very tiny and i'm gonna go in with the shade clean which was i'll show you actually that kind of light shimmery color here clean and I'm going to use this as the brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight as well oh that is beautiful so you could definitely do a very natural look with this palette and have this as your kind of lid color because it is wow it is really really pretty look at that and that's with a brush as well so imagine it with your fingers Ooh wow oh i'm really impressed like really really impressed i was not expecting this i literally i'm not gonna lie i literally bought this just to do a video to see whether it's worth your money but oh my god like it's worth my money <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do the other eye and i'll be back with you in a minute we'll try the lipstick out and yeah i'll give my final thoughts mm. so i'm gonna go on to the lipstick next so i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed um i watched somebody's video who had like got it in pr and it mentioned in the leaflet for pr that basically this is just one of their original lipstick colors so it isn't, isn't one that's been designed in mind for friends or for the club which i thought is a bit disappointing i feel like they could have like they're gonna make a lot of money off this and obviously it, it was going to be inevitable that we're going to make a lot of money off this i feel like they could have made a special color for it um but this one is rachel so this one um it's just one of their i think it's like one of their shine lipsticks doesn't actually say um and it just has a little lip on the top it is quite purpley toned it is kind of like that 90s kind of thingy which actually weirdly will go nice with the lips which i didn't and um, with the eyes which i didn't actually plan because it is quite a like a grungy colour, if that makes sense. So I had a little look through my lip liners. I was trying to find one that would match, that was a Makeup Revolution one, but I don't actually have many 
Makeup Revolution ones that aren't brown because I just love brown lipstick. So we have the Barry M lip liner in blush. So I'm gonna line my lips with this first and then go in with the Rachel lipstick. By the way, the lipstick itself retails for six pounds, which I don't think's too bad of a price to be honest with you. I don't think the eyeshadow palette for eight pound is too bad. I don't really know how I feel about this lip liner. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's just not as good as my MAC one. I just love MAC lip liners so much. So yeah, let's go in with the Rachel lipstick. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing, it is very purpley toned. Um, it does show up if you've got like quite dry lips. Like, I don't know if you can see. My lips are quite dry. Um, it does show up the dryness. Okay, so... I think as far as the lipstick goes, it's not my cup of tea, but it also wouldn't actually be a colour that I would pick anyway, to be honest with you. I think I probably should have gone for the Monica lipstick, but I like Rachel. Like, Rachel's probably my favourite character out of Friends, so I wanted something of hers. And her palette just didn't seem to catch my eye like the Monica one did. So, the lipstick is really comfortable. It smells really, really nice. Um, I'm going to try it. Do you want to try and light in the middle? I'm going to try this little technique that um, Jordan Lipscomb always does where she gets a tiny little bit of concealer and taps that into the middle of the lips to make them a bit lighter in the middle. Yeah, I just don't think... It wouldn't be a lipstick that I'd reach for, but I do think it's really nice. It smells lovely. It applies nice. It's pigmented. I feel like they could have made one, like made the lipsticks that actually were colours that represented um, like the characters more because I've never seen Rachel wear a lipstick this colour. I mean, I could be wrong because I'm not a hardcore fan, but yeah. I honestly, I feel like I'm eating my words with this. I need to finish off my mascara, so I'll put some mascara on and then we'll ram this video up. But I think you all know how I feel about it anyways. <laughs> so overall, I am so impressed with this collaboration. It's actually gone above and beyond my expectations this monica palette is definitely worth picking up there's so many different looks that you could do with this palette alone and i didn't even expect to do a grungy look or like this kind of look that we've got i just think it looks stunning it looks beautiful i can't wait to take some pictures of this for my instagram and um, please go follow me on instagram if you haven't already but i feel like there's so much more you can do you could do like a light smoky eye an everyday eye that highlight that clean one in this top corner is unbelievable i'd actually put that on my cheeks that's how stunning it is you could do more of a ruby eye you could do more of like a dark grungy one with like a warm kind of um this kind of warm orangey color as well you could do like a halloweeny kind of vibe it honestly i'm just so shocked by it if you don't want me to do any if like try any of the other palettes or anything else from the collection please let me know because i wasn't planning on buying any more of it but if there's anything that you want to see in particular then let me know but i definitely won't buy the 20 pound palette um just to give you a little fyi um the lipstick i do feel like it was a little bit of a cop out i feel like they should have made a shade unique to rachel unique to phoebe unique to monica and not just repackaged one of their old ones um but i do like the packaging i think it's really cute the lipstick is nice it just isn't my vibe anymore before i would have loved this I think more for like the wintry months, I'll absolutely love this, especially um, with like proper autumn vibes, it'll be amazing. But for kind of this mixed September that we're having where it's like not really um, autumn, but summer's still kind of here and it's like mix and mix depending on what day you're in. Um, it's just not my vibe right now, but I will definitely be using it in the winter time. Yeah, I think this is, this is my my final thoughts i just think i'm i'm gobsmacked by it to be honest with you absolutely gobsmacked and um, there will be some more revolution videos coming by the way i do have some planned for vlogtober but i've also got one of their advent calendars the make obsession one on the way today it's meant to come within the next hour and a half so that'll be really exciting to do so that'll be coming on my channel very 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 soon and yeah I'm just, yeah, gobsmacked. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hopefully will see you in my next video. Don't forget to enter my huge giveaway linked down below. I love you so much. It's also linked on the screen. And I shall see you for a brand new video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Mm.